Hello YouTube, welcome back to Osiris New Dawn. We've got our droid, we thought we lost him in the last one, but he's back now. If you guys want to know why I thought I lost him, you need to go back and watch this second episode. But basically, I thought he died because we got attacked by a pack of wild alien things that are absolutely terrifying. And uh, you want to see some intense action, go back and watch it. Now, it, at, the la at the end of the last episode, we finally made a forge. We, we found plutonium. It's very far away. I have the cords, though, so I can always go back and get more. And uh, now, though, in order to make the steel, we need magnesium. And I have no idea where that is, and so we have to find it in this episode. We need magnesium because we need to make steel to make a shovel. And then we need that to make glass which is then in turn uh, used to make the habitat, if we can get to it here, steel and glass for the habitat. So we need a lot of magnesium, we need a lot of stuff. And so I really am concerned about my location and where I built. Uh, if I need to possibly move the base to another location, because we are pretty much on the very edge of the map. And uh, it would be ideal to maybe move to the middle of the map. And so I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about this. And I think what we'll do to start with is actually move. Um, simply because uh, it's, it's going to be a big, it's going to be a big problem, I think. And so I can go ahead and put stuff into the robot's inventory by getting the multi-tool out, opening up his inventory, and having him carry some of this heavy stuff. So that way I don't have to. I don't actually need the iron, but it's worth just loading him up with all this stuff. So that way I don't have to carry it. And he'll carry it for me. And that way I can carry the uh, the uh, things I've already made. Alright, there we go. You carry that stuff, my man. So what I need to do is... Uh, oh, I can't... D I, have to, I have to destroy it? <gasps> oh, no. Now, usually, like for example, this thing... I can come over here with the tool out, and uh, I thought I could click on it. Yeah, I can pack it up with G. And so then it packs up, and I can get this and pick it up and go. Now, here's the thing. I am thinking that I'm going to have to destroy this. And so to make a forge, we need plutonium. We have plutonium. We have everything we need to make another one. And so it's not all that bad of a thing to lose what we made and we have the hub so let's go and I'm what I'm gonna do the reason why I'm doing this is because yes there is a lot of things here in terms of titanium but I know where this location is and I can always come back and get more but we need to move towards the center of the map so that way we not we're not walking forever to uh, get resources I know of several locations where there's titanium copper. I know of a location where there's lead and gold. I know where car carbon is. I know where plutonium is. Now I need to find magnesium. And so I'm going to get off this freaking peninsula that's literally way out on the outskirts of the map. There is plutonium right there. Oh my gosh. You guys. There's plutonium right there. Oh my, I walked so far. So the reason why I didn't see that was because uh, in the last freaking episode, there it was dark the entire time. It was nighttime, but then it was also, um, I think, a, a uh, an eclipse. And so now we know where there's multiple things of plutonium, basically on each opposite side of the map. So, my, I'm wondering if there's magnesium down here. Yep. Tons of plutonium. Look at this. Man, it's so close. I really wish that in the last episode. I mean, I walked so far and it's right here. It's crazy. But it was so dark the whole episode and sandstorms and everything else that I missed it. I feel like an idiot. This is in the crater, though, and we need to be very, very careful in the crater because this is where the sandworm is. And I did figure out how to dodge him, though. He's actually pretty easy to dodge, and it has to do with essentially just kind of seeing where he's, like, uh, coming from, and then just getting out of his path. Um, I don't, I still don't know how to know when he's coming, because there's no sound or anything. Um, and so, is that magnesium? 
It looks like aluminum. But usually from what I've seen and heard, magnesium is right next to plutonium. So we'll go over here, check it out. We need to be very weary of this freaking sandworm. Because I don't know if he comes from this location over here or if he comes from the exact opposite. Why am I like sliding down here? What the heck is happening? I'm like stuttering. My frames are stuttering. What the heck? Is it coming? It's coming! Holy crap! I j narrowly avoided that thing. Screw you, dude. It's magnesium. Yes. Wow. Okay, so if the ground, sh if you start shaking like that, it means he's coming. I thought I was like stuttering, getting some lag. Sweet magnesium. That is awesome. So now we have magnesium, and we pretty much have everything we need right here, uh, right by us. I need to put this multi so I can access his inventory, and then um, we can put... A ton of ton of magnesium in his in his inventory, and then man, we're pretty much set in that regard, dude. Sweet, nice. I'm gonna have dude. So we got plutonium and magnesium, titanium, aluminum, copper, iron, all really close by. Gold's pretty close. The only thing that's kind of far away is carbon, from what I know. But maybe it's even. Maybe there's carbon even closer, you know? I, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, sweet. Nice. We got freaking magnesium. So now I'm going to load up, and then we'll head back to base, and I can start crafting some stuff. And uh, we, are, we are freaking set. Oh, my gosh. Guys, it's one of those War of the World things. Look at it. What the heck? Minotaur. Oh, it's level one. So I'm assuming things scale with you. Oh, crap. It's coming. Dude, this, all these freaking creatures are so terrifying. Droids, shoot at them! Oh my gosh. What the heck, dude? He disappeared. Wow. What? It's like, it's literally like a smaller version of that thing from War of the Worlds. If you guys have ever seen that with Tom Cruise. Holy crap. This area is really nice, but it is laden. Laden with creatures especially in nighttime all those freaking night stalker things um just everywhere i gotta get iron to make this depository i shouldn't have destroyed this because i think i'm gonna stay here now that we know this like i I'm, i wasted all that but luckily it's really cheap to make and so i'm not entirely too concerned about it and i'm not too mad about it either so we need titanium and iron for that plutonium okay yeah i'm not entirely too mad because it, it's all right here you just have to kind of run up the hill a little bit to get iron. But honestly, like, I should have just, like, well, there's no way for me to have known. I mean, I didn't know the plutonium was there. And so, really, I'm not going to, I shouldn't be too hard on myself. Because, honestly, like, how the heck was I going to know? How was, how was I supposed to know that? I was planning on moving to get close to the other plutonium. And so, I mean, for those of you haters out there, uh, it's all right. Okay, so... I'm going to stay here. It's going to be nice. The only problem is it's not a lot of level terrain. And so hopefully everything I build uh, doesn't have issues or anything like that, which knowing the state of the game being early access, I probably will have some issues. So uh, we'll, we'll probably have to find out the hard way. All right. So we have everything we need. I don't like the placement of this, though. So I'm going to pick this up and move it just because it looks kind of annoying. Uh, it's not like on it's not on a flat surface. I wonder if I should, well, I do need a flat ground if I'm going to make a huge habitat. So we'll just put it right back where we picked it up before, where we had it before. Because this is a nice flat area. And now that we know all that stuff is nearby, we don't have to go very far. Yeah, so we'll put it down there. And uh, kind of wish things snapped to each other. Okay, so now that that's built, let's go inside. Let's trigger this so it remembers our location. We've got five minutes on that. Holy, another one? Jeez, man. It spawned back in. Headshot. Droid, pay attention. Ha, <laughs> get wrecked. Oh, where are you trying to go? It disappeared again. Get wrecked, Minotaur. You got nothing on us. Freaking droid wrecking your face. All right, utilities. There we go. Put that down right there. 
Hopefully it's not like a bug and that thing keeps coming back, because if so, that's going to be really annoying. This is some new music I've never heard before. Well, it looks like this is my lo this is going to be my base, because I definitely don't need to move from here. Titanium. Here's some titanium right here. I know some people, uh, some of my buddies are like looking for titanium for like a long time. And uh, I'm like, dude, I got so much titanium, I don't know what to do with All right. Good thing is, is that we can just put in the depository. Forge. Uh, we need the plutonium off of him. Yeah, there we go. Open the inventory. Put it on us. Where it's very heavy. There we go. Forge is built. Let's put it. Well, I guess we'll just put it right here. Same place we had it before. This is the exact same thing I did before, and I wasted all that time, but. I mean, honestly, it's nice because I wouldn't have found that stuff if I didn't consider moving. And so, whatever, I'm fine with it. Okay, keep, uh, droid. Uh, whoop, give me all that stuff. Take it all, take it all. Hopefully I can move still. I cannot move. Alright, hold on, droid. I need you again. Immobilized. I'm completely immobilized. I think I can just drop it like that. Easy enough. Okay, so we'll put the titanium, iron, aluminum, magnesium. Nice. Gold. Meat. Got a lot of alien meat. Empty containers. We should got to figure out how to fill those back up. It does rain on this planet, so I don't know if it's drinkable, though. All right, so that's good the heck dude don't rumble like that in the world okay so for the forge we need to make steel because we need three steel and aluminum to make a shovel and we need that to make glass so iron magnesium and aluminum iron magnesium and aluminum okay so now let's see what this is like so we make uh what? Inventory? Ah, oh, there we go. Two, three. Easy enough. It's pretty simple. Now we can make a shovel. Nice. And then I need, for a habitat, I need 15 steel, a ton of glass, aluminum, and copper. So 15 steel. So let's make that... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got nine. Nine made. Okay. So I can probably just leave it in the inventory until I'm ready to get it. Alright, so we got nine. So we're gonna let's do the glass how many how much glass do we need? Uh for a habitat? Ten. So we need sand. So let's get sand. Uh we'll just get a bunch of it. So what do I do? Just this? Wow, that's pretty simple. Footprints! There's no terraforming? We'd just be at this all day doing this. Probably shouldn't move clo far away, so that way... Yeah, we'll just collect a ton. This depository can hold a lot, and we can always make another depository if we need it. There's like lockers and stuff too. There's a bunch of different things you can get. Okay, so we need 10, right? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10! Perfect! Alright. So, we got the glass for the habitat. So, that's good. So, let's go ahead and put that in here. Put our multi-tool back out here. Um, how heavy is this? 2 kilogram. Let's put that away, too. We don't need that. 66... Why do I weigh so much? 66 out of 80. What's weighing me down that much? I don't... Is it bugged down or something? It must be bugged. How is that possible? That it weighs that much? Okay, that seems bugged. Okay. So we got the glass... We need some more steel. We need how much how much steel? 
15. So we got nine. And so we're going to need, we have magnesium. We need aluminum and iron. So let's go get aluminum and iron. Come with me. Do you have stuff on? Do you have anything on you? No? Sweet. Okay. So we can load him up. Oh, we're going to need some copper too. So let's get the copper while we're at it. We can just throw it in him. This place literally has everything that I need. It's nuts. 20 out of 50. Nice. He can just carry whatever, apparently. So that's nice. Okay, here's more copper. My man! My droid man! What up, dude? Nice. There we go. Alright, so do we need more titanium? I don't know. If I do, I'll get it. I got, I've got. i got everything I need in this one spot. It made every, has made everything extremely easy. The only thing I don't have around here is carbon. And so it'll be interesting to see what I need carbon for. Uh, because that is, to my knowledge, the only place I know of it is pretty, pretty far away in that lake bed. And so we're going to have to go back there. Lake Andretta. Which I did write the chords down. So I know exactly where it is. Now the biggest problem though with this area was all those freaking things that attacked me that one night. And so I really hope that there isn't more. Like there isn't going to be a ton of them every single night. Because if so, that's like one thing I'm not really looking forward to. Where's my droid? Come on, dude. I need you, man. Hold this stuff for me, please. Hold this stuff for me, please. We gotta gather a bunch of iron, dude. Don't be foolish. Stay stay right by me. I'm gonna need you every second. It's kind of uh, interesting that you get a droid right away. That seems pretty OP. Maybe it's just for early access. I don't know. But I, if I was the devs, what I would do is I would make you build a laboratory and take the time to grind your way to get to the get some droids. But I also wonder what droids are actually... They've got to be different ones, advanced ones or something. Okay, so that's a ton. Um, wait, what else do I need? Crap. Um, aluminum, right? I also need the aluminum. Oh, we got plenty of that. I like this area. It's a big open clear area. You can see everything. The one thing that my area does not also have is a... I don't think it has a rock nearby to avoid all the dangerous creatures. You can use the top of your hub thing to do it, but I'm just concerned that I'm gonna it's gonna get like overran and knocked down or something. And I'm gonna like lose everything I work for. Some aluminum up here. And and once you find everything, it's static, and so you can always go back to it all the time and get more. And so uh, it's nice to have everything you need in one spot. Kinda seems easy. Whoop yeah, okay. Collect all this. I'm just gonna, who cares about that a little bit. Watch it be like, I need that little bit right there. Okay, so we got what we need. So let's head back. It's about to be nighttime. Come on, Android. We need to make this, this habitat quickly. So from my knowledge, you have to make, when you make the habitat, you make the foundation and then you have to build walls and stuff. And so you need even more of the resources that you need. And so it takes a while to actually build it. Uh, like actual buildings in this game which is good and bad because um, you know some people might get turned off because it takes so much time to do it while big ba like clans worth of people might love that and then they can build like massive civilizations and stuff okay so we have everything we need aluminum iron magnesium so let's get I still have some aluminum too so that's good yo my man all right, so let's grab the iron and the aluminum. And then let's go in here. And we have nine already, right? We have nine and we need 15. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so there's the steel. Okay, so we've got steel. Put the iron away, the aluminum away. We'll just keep everything organized. Because I know some of you guys hate when uh, things are unorganized, so I want to try to appease you and keep everything nice and neat. When can you tell if it needs repaired? I'm unsure about that fact. Except for right now. You're just going to have to deal with the fact that the... There we go. Um, okay, so we need... We have the steel. We have the glass. We have the aluminum. And we have the copper. We can make it right now. 
So let's just load up all this steel, glass, aluminum, and copper. Here we go. It's about to be nighttime too. This is good timing. All right, so let's go ahead and throw this down probably right here. We can always turn that building around if we need to. All right, holy crap. Where do I want it at? I kind of want it next to the next to the thing I have now. But I also want to give enough space so we can extend it and stuff cuz you can add things onto it. Sweet. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, baby. Sweet. So, I'm going to have to jump into it every single time. What the heck? Okay, there we go. I'm just weighed down, that's all. So that's built. Um, that kind of stinks that you have to build airlock. So we need an airlock, obviously. Uh, hallway. Biodome. Laboratory. This is what I want to work towards. So that doesn't work. Beacon. Large gas tank. Large satellite. This is all kinds of stuff. Oxygenator. Dang. Where do you get circuit boards from and wire? Fabricator. This is what you need. But where do you get plastic? That transform many gases and liquids into more complex items built inside a habitat. I bet this is what makes plastic. That makes the other stuff that you need. Yeah. So we got to go through and make all this stuff. Cool, man. So we got a habitat built. And uh, now we just got to work on all the other things to, that go along with the habitat. And, uh, yeah, we're making some headway now. This is good. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, click that thumbs up button below. Feel free to subscribe if you're new to the channel. God bless. See you guys.